Hi everyone, my name is Paolo and welcome to the 3D Light tutorials. Um, this is tutorial number zero, so we will uh, um, just show you installation and licensing and resources. So let's get uh, started. First thing you do, you go to the 3D Light site and uh, clicking on the download button. You can download uh, the 3D Light version for your platform. Uh, you can see that the supported platform are Windows, Mac OS, uh, 10 and uh, Linux. You have 32 and 64 bit um, and uh, um, PowerPC and Intel builds. So you download uh, your build, I already did uh, download mine. And uh, once you do this, you just uh, uh, double click and install it. So um, let's go on a clear view. This is a list of the updates. A license agreement that you should read uh, well. And then you can install uh, the software. Uh, installing the software is a very smooth operation. Okay, once you catch your password. And, uh, um, okay, that's done. So now 3D Lite is installed. And uh, you can already use it. I mean, uh, um, you should download the license uh, to uh, not have the um, watermark, but you can already use it. So 3D Lite is actually two renders in one. You have a plugin version and um, a standalone version. If you go on a, a shell, you can see the resources. Um, CD, sorry, go back to the previous directory and open Finder. So, and this is my previous build, you can see that you have a, um, a bin folder which contains all the executables, for example, the uh, standalone renderer, the shader compiler, uh, the texture optimizer, some reboot utility for uh, pipelines, and uh, point cloud to brick map converter, and several other things. And an uh, image uh, viewer, very good actually, I display. And uh, you can see, so you have a standalone renderer and at the same time um, a plugin renderer for uh, several um, platforms of my, um, versions of my, so my 8.5, my 2.8, and you also have um, the Shape 8.5, this is a um, plugin for automatically recognize uh, shave and haircut. <clears throat> you have shaders with, the code, with source code uh, provided. And uh, these are all actually the Maya shaders. For example, if you want to see the ocean shader, you can just open it with TextMate. And you can actually don't, um, even modify this, uh, um, this code uh, uh, to fit it in your pipeline. Uh, again, you have uh, um, other shaders, and uh, um, these are compiled as DL, and the uh, source contains all the uh, for example, the Maya 4 um, code. There you go. So, as I was saying, you can already use this uh, uh, plugin without even licensing it. Um, let's do an example with the render delight. So, we just uh, uh, go on a fresh uh, bash and uh, a render DL is the standalone render. Sorry. If you type minus H, you will see all the options. And there is a minus test option that renders a test image for you. So let's just render the light minus test minus ID, which loads the image into the iDisplay viewer. Um, there you go, minus ID. So enter and a nice space in ladders. Uh, um, image is created. This means that the uh, tree light works fine. You can see the uh, watermark uh, here. So if you want to get rid of the watermark, uh, you just go to the 3D light site and uh, let me go back on the browser um, and uh, uh, put your and get a license. So first of all, you have to retrieve your host ID information. How you do that? Always from the shell, you go to the 3D light folder or uh, it, should, it should be already in the path. So you just run, uh, um, it's actually in bin, sorry, yes. So here you just run uh, uh, list uh, LIC utils and then host ID and we'll prompt your host ID, this is mine actually. And uh, uh, once you have this information you go to the uh, browser and um, step two, uh, get the host ID, and step three, you just 
type your name and email and uh, all the information and of course the host ID. This will uh, send um, a license to you to your email address. Um, once you do this, you, you will get a, um, a license that that file uh, uh, sent uh, by email to you. And uh, uh, this license that that file um, can be put in the bin folder, in the same folder where the, um, um, sorry, uh, where the license server is. I put it there. there. And uh, you just run the uh, license server with the minus D option if you want. It calls it in a daemon mode and uh, license dot that. So um, you will see that I have a license and uh, my machine is allowed to run two processes and uh, the server is started. That means that if I re-render, um, let's go here, I re-render my uh, test image again, it will be without any watermark. So that's fantastic. And uh, now you're ready to use it, basically. Uh, the same thing goes to the Maya plugin. So if you want, you can load Maya and 3D Lite will be uh, loaded as a plugin. So you basically have two renderers, two renderers in uh, one. Very good for pipeline work. In this case, I'm using uh, my 8.5. Okay, there you go. So uh, if you go to the um, plugin manager, you will find uh, the 3D Light for Maya and the uh, Shave plugin, 3D Light for, uh, for Maya Shave plugin loaded. You have information of uh, uh, commands available and uh, dependency graph nodes. We'll get into this later. And uh, you can see that 3D Light is now registered as a, 3D Light, a regular Maya renderer. And it will work, I mean, just by you know, creating some stupid geometry here and just clicking the render button. This is very quick crash course. Okay, there you go. So, it's fantastic, let's close it. Um, just to show you uh, one second the uh, resources uh, you have um, on the web. Um, there is a nice uh, uh, forum page with 3 light for my renderman uh, and 3 light for my um, um, forums, which are uh, uh, very good to post your questions. And uh, you can have uh, other resources in the wiki. If you uh, buy support uh, or if you buy official licenses, you have access to change logs. So that means you can uh, uh, download the basically build of the day. There are really a lot of builds. These are all the builds that were being made during the 6.5 uh, uh, process. And there is basically one build every two or three days. It's really uh, extremely well done and you have uh, information on uh, uh, what has been changed for each version. This is only for paying customers, of course. <clears throat> so, yes, before uh, saying bye, I want to show you the uh, documentation resources, which is, of course, extremely important. So if you go to the 3D Lite folder, uh, let's go open Finder. If you go to the uh, 3D Lite folder, you will find a doc folder, which contains two very nice uh, PDFs, um, the user manual and, uh, um, and uh, um, which contains all the information about uh, tree light and uh, it's extremely well done. I suggest you to um, print it and uh, read it over. And uh, the same for the 3D light for my plugin. Um, Again, you have uh, all information of the user interface and what you can do, and um, there are also some uh, um, uh, guidelines uh, and uh, several things. Very nice. Um, so, for example, here my hair facts guideline, and uh, so a very good resource also to read. You have also access in HTML form of the same resource, and also a licensing uh, document for your sys admin. And uh, I would say that's it. So um, happy works with uh, 3D Lite. Bye bye.